Ladies and gentlemen, Fernac the Magnificent! Yay! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mini Me, Fernac the Magnificent, my partner today. Hi everyone, I am today, today's special video blog, Fernac the Magnificent, aka Joe Fermano, your host of the How to Use Your Life show, which airs every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, WNJC 1360 AM. And today's daily video blog is on failure. Today, I, the amazing, the magnificent Fernac, will present to you failure. That is our topic. Mini me, Fernac the Magnificent, will hand me a hermetically sealed envelope. May I see an envelope, please? You can hold it up to the camera to our folks. There it is. Hermetically sealed. I have no idea what that means, but for those of you who remember the late, great Johnny Carson, uh, he used to say hermetically sealed. That was Karnak the Magnificent. Ed McMahon, his sidekick, would hand him that envelope. This envelope, not only is it hermetically sealed, but it's been kept in a hermit crab cage. Believe me, nobody goes near that. He's right. It smells in there. It does smell in there. So, here's what I'm going to do. Today's topic is failure. Before your eyes, Mini-Me, the magnificent Fernac, will hand me the envelope sealed. I will give you the answer before the question. I will give you the answer before the question. Amazing as it is, I am Fernac the Magnificent. Envelope number one, please. Winston Churchill. Winston Churchill. Who failed the sixth grade? Lost every election till he was elected Prime Minister of the United Kingdom at the age of 62. Winston Churchill. Envelope number two, please. Mini me, Fernac. Hmm. Ooh, a light bulb just went off. Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. You can seal, 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 seal. Thomas Edison, whose teacher said he was too stupid to learn anything, was fired from his first two jobs for being non-productive, and invented the light bulb after 10,000 tries. Envelope number three, please, many me. Failure. Failure is our topic today. No such thing as failure, folks. Only a lack of trying. Hmm. Hmm. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein. Who, what world famous scientist did not speak? Till he was four years old and did not read till he was seven. His parents said, his own parents said he was subnormal. His teachers said he was mentally slow. <laughs> what do they know? Envelope number four, please. How you doing there, Minnie Mae? Good. You're doing a great job. Um, I'm thinking cars. I'm thinking cars. Henry Ford. Henry Ford. Mighty handsome today. Who went broke five times before succeeding? Five times and is responsible for creating what we know as today the assembly line. Envelope number five, please. Ooh, I'm thinking department store. I'm thinking shoes for all your women out there. I'm thinking sale. R. H. Macy. R. H. Macy. How am I doing? Good. Good. Thank you. R. H. Macy, what major department store founder failed seven times? He tried seven different department store ideas before succeeding. Macy's. Envelope number six, please. Hmm. Hello. I'm thinking, hello. Ring, ring. Alexander Graham Bell. Alexander Graham Bell, who was told by Western Union that nobody would use his electrical toy, the telephone. Ha! Nobody. 
It'll never catch on, is what they told him. What do they know? Envelope number seven, thank you, Minnie Me the Magnificent. Mm, I'm thinking basketball. I'm thinking hoops. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. What basketball player, great basketball player, possibly the greatest basketball player, was cut from his high school team because his coach said, you just don't have it, kid. Michael Jordan said, I've failed many times. That's why I succeeded. Envelope number eight, please. Great, 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 great. Ooh, I'm thinking Mickey Mouse. I'm thinking Goofy. I'm thinking Walt Disney. Walt, are you feeling it? Are you feeling it? I'm feeling it. You're feeling it? All I'm right. Walt Disney, who was fired by the news, his newspaper editor because he lacked imagination and had no good ideas, is what they told him. And he also went bankrupt four times before he built Disneyland. Went bankrupt four times before his vision of Disneyland. Envelope number nine, please. Wow, failure. No such thing as failure. Hmm. I'm thinking... Dancing. Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire. Some of you will remember Fred Astaire. Fred Astaire. Let's see. What great dancer and actor was told by an MGM director, you can't sing, you can't act, you're slightly bald, and you can dance a little bit, but not good enough to make it in TV. Get into another profession. Can you imagine? Fred Astaire. Envelope number 10, please. Hmm, music, music. Beethoven, Beethoven, Beethoven. Roll over, Beethoven. Beethoven, the movie. Beethoven, the movie about dogs, right? Yeah. Beethoven, what composer, musician, was told he is hopeless and is an awful, awful composer? Yet, he wrote five of his greatest symphonies while completely deaf. Imagine that. Envelope number 11, please. We're getting to the bottom of the pile. This is wonderful. We're here talking about failure. I am, a.k.a. Joe Fermato, your Fernac the Magnificent with Mini Magnificent. Uh, we're not close to the We're at the bottom. We're at the bottom? Okay. Thank you, sir. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Whoosh, already ripped it. Got ahead of myself. What children's book author was rejected 27 times before he published his first book? 27 no's, cat in the hat, green eggs and ham, forget about it, never would succeed. Who would read those? That's what he was told. And finally, I have in my hand, oh great one, the last envelope for today's video blog on failure. You. Yeah, you. 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 I'm talking to you. You is the answer. You is the answer. You, yeah, you can be, do, and have almost anything if you understand, folks, that failure is never final. Help enough people get what they want, you'll have more than you ever dreamed of. That's today's message, folks. There is no such thing as failure. Failure can be your friend. I'm not crazy. Really. It really can. Failure is a wake-up call. Failure is, hey, hold up, hold up. You're going in the wrong direction. Stop. Regroup. Go down this road. Failure is a report. Failure is an opportunity for you to stop, change, and do something different. Or it's insanity if you continue to do the same thing and get the same outcome. So there is no such thing as failure. Today, I tried to humor you as best I could and give you examples of people that you knew or know that are great and have created some great things that we still use today. They just never gave up. The only time you fail is the last time you try. That's all you need to work. We are wired that way, folks. It's in our DNA to get up and to move forward, to be productive, to be fulfilled, to be happy. And how we do that is to take action, to take steps every day in doing something. If something's not working, try a different approach. 
I've got to tell you, you'll hear sometimes people will say failure is not an option. It is an option. It's your option. Hey, that's the great thing about life. You have choices, just like happiness is a choice, okay? The choice that you have is to say, there is no such thing as failure. Thank you for failure. It was an outcome. There are only outcomes. The only time you fail is the last time you try. And the best success formula there is, oh, Fernak the Magnificent Mini-Me is fall down seven times and get up eight. Well, that's today's daily video blog. I am the Magnificent Fernak and Mini-Me, the Magnificent Fernak, saying have a great day, make it a great day, and thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being here. Thank you all. Have a great day.